The Hoi Mady Slashing Guy Lucy here, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword! Now, as you remember, we have just entered the Fire Gym Challenge where we have to catch or defeat Pokemon. And it looks like we can catch this potential. What, what, what is this? It looks like a piece of bacon. Mmm, bacon. I'm gonna catch it. Yes, I shall catch the delicious bacon! Come here, snack. Oh, man. Guess I should have used a regular Pokeball. But that's all right. So so this other person is supposed to be not helping me, if, if I understood the rules correctly. Let's do a Great Ball. You can't escape a Great Ball. And the reason why I'm trying to catch it instead of defeating it is because this is worth more points. Aha! Success! Let me turn up the volume a bit here. Success! We have caught it. I can't name it Bacon, though. I've got a theme going on. I am naming Pokemon after cartoon villains this time around. So I need to think of a villain that is red and skinny. That looks like this. Something flat. Ooh, you know what he kind of looks like? His face, it looks like Aku from Samurai Jack. Yes, I know exactly what I am going to name you. And you're a boy too, perfect. Your name shall be Aku. Yes, say hello to Aku, everyone. Um, do I want to add him to the party? Let's see, what do we got? Mm, I want to keep Shigo on just for this battle. Let's swap out Jesse. We'll swap out Jesse with Aku. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. So we got two points. How many more points do I need again? Um. Ooh. A Vulpix. But we already got one of those because we have Maleficent. So I'm just going to go ahead and destroy this one. Alrighty, this time we're gonna fight. We're gonna use water gun. No need to use our most intense water moves just yet. Yeah, do you see that? Do you see that? This piece of charcoal tried to use spite and it failed. Good, we have taken down the Vulpix. That leaves, I think, I need to get one more point if I'm keeping track correctly. How many points am I supposed to have? Two. There are three more points needed. Oh, what? Three? That that didn't count as one? Ugh. I didn't want to catch that one, though. I guess I'll catch the Litwick. I shall catch the Litwick. Oh, she's got a piece of bacon of her own. I'm sorry. It's always going to look like bacon to me. Maybe... If I had a Pokemon team named after food. <gasps> Ooh, that's a good idea. The next Pokemon game I play, it, it's going to be Pokemon named after foods. You heard it. Avery, mark this down. Let, let this moment be forever recorded that the next Pokemon game I play, shall everyone shall have food names. Don't make me forget. If I forget in the future, you better replay what I just said here. Okay, what's happening? He did fire spin, but I want to catch him. Um, let's try a heal ball. Toffee's just like, what are you doing? I thought we were supposed to be destroying things. Why are you trying to catch him? Are you crazy? Yes, I am crazy, but that's what the challenge is about, Toffee. Even if this Litwick is using every ghost move possible... Well, at least it did it on the bacon bit. I knew this gym was going to be easy, but catching them is not. Um, ooh, let's do a Dusk Ball. I know it's technically for Dark types, but he is a Ghost type, so maybe it'll work. Come on. Come on. Yes, success. Now i got to figure out what I'm going to name this thing. I could name him Casper, but that's not a villain's name. Hmm. Oh, I got it. 
I can name him Slimer because he's a ghost. I know he, he's a lot more adorable than Slimer looks, and he's blue and Slimer's green. But keeping with the theme here, I shall name him Slimer. Yes, his name is Slimer. And sent him to a box. I don't want him in the party. It's enough that we have Aku. We don't need Slimer as well. Just one more point to victory. So why why didn't I get any points for catching? Do, do I have to catch the Vulpix? Can't I just destroy it? I thought I got at least one point for destroying it. I really don't want to catch a Vulpix. I already have one. I don't need more. Let's Let's try and fight again and see if it'll give me a point this time. Yes, point, point, point. Give me the point. Please give me the point. I demand the point. There. I don't know why it didn't give me the point last time. But it has been done. Maybe it's because the other person took it out instead of me. I don't know. I didn't keep track. But now we can, we can move forward. However... Toffee is burning, so we we need to we need to give him a burn heal really quick, and give him a super potion just to make sure he is all ready to go. All right, Toffee is officially set to go. Now let's take on Kabu. He doesn't stand a chance. Toffee's gonna destroy him. Yeah, why am I fixing me bangs? Like, oh, do do I look decent? Do I look decent for the slaughter? Ah, why is he there? What do you want from me? Oh, and, and there he goes. Not a word. He just, he was just there. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> look at his little jog. Yeah, the determination. That's the determination of this guy is in so much trouble. I like the color of the ground. Welcome, I am Kabu, the fire-type gym leader. Yes, we know. The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo's grass and Nessa's water types. Yeah, Nessa was tricky. Not as, I mean, it was trickier than I expected. Why are you acting like you're the one to beat? You're, you're going to be the easiest just based on me type advantage. All right, Toffee, get ready to mop the floor. Here we go. Get that pump music up. He's starting with a nine tails. Very nice. Very nice. But we know how to take out a nine tails. That's right. Water pulls are nothing. Go. One hit. One hit. Oh, close. Ooh, we managed to get it dizzy, though. Two hits ought to do it. Yeah, be confused. Use that ghost fire move all you want. Toffee will fight through it. Yeah, do you see that? All it did was give him a slight burn. Burns mean nothing to Toffee. Burns are just a mere irritation on his very wet skin. You know what? That sounded weird the moment it left me mouth. Especially since... Well, actually, in the Pokemon world, he looks like an amphibian. In the real world, he's a reptile. Ooh, Maleficent wants to learn the same move. Yes, Maleficent's like, I saw what that nine tails did, and I want some of that. Give me some of that. Um, let's get rid of Disable, then. There you go, Maleficent. You can now do what that nine tails did. Congratulations. All right, what's next? Ooh, no, we're going to keep Toffee. Are you kidding? He's going to be me hard hitter here. He's totally got this. It doesn't matter how giant and fluffy RK9 is. Toffee has got this. With another water pulse. Go. Throw that water balloon right in his face. Right in the snout. Agility's not going to help you dodge Toffee's water balloons. Just the wait. Most of Toffee's damage has only come from that... Will-O-Wisp burn 
thing. Oh, and he's doing bite. An intense bite, but it's not going to be enough. <laughs> Excellent. See, what did I tell ye? We're just mopping the floor with this gym. That only leaves one thing left. Oh, and everyone leveled up too. Excellent. Toffee will be fine. All right, it's time for Dynamax. Light that fire and get your mind moving. Yeah, you better get your mind moving, Kabu. You can't handle these water moves. Whoa! Is that what Aku's going to look like when he evolves? He, he looks like a ginormous piece of bacon. I shall forever have bacon on me mind with that Pokemon. I'm sorry. I... I, I mean, he does kind of have an Aku-looking face, though, so it, it works. The name works. Uh, don't crush me, Toffee. Okay, we're good. He, they always look like when we Dynamax, me Pokemon always look like they're like one inch away from squashing me. Could you imagine doing Dynamax Pokemon, and then all of a sudden your Pokemon squashed you? Like, what, what a headline, or would that happen so often that... It wouldn't even be big news. Just like, oh, some kid got their, all their limbs crushed by their po Pokemon Dynamaxing again. No biggie. I mean, it looks cool, but the, the practicality, if you want to apply real life stuff, is crazy. Whoa! Yeah! Oh, that was epic! Yeah, you bet it was super effective. Yeah, start that rain. What is Max Flutter be? Come on, Toffee. What? That killed Toffee? What? I was not expecting that. Oh, man. Ugh. Oh, wait. What am I doing putting Kylo in? I need to put Shigo in. She's at a lower level, but... She's got water moves. I can't believe Toffee didn't survive that. What did I do wrong? Did, 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 did I get... Oh, Chigo's not going to survive that. Oh, I should have waited to put Chigo in. Should have waited for it to finish Dynamaxing. Here, I'm just going to throw Aku in because why not? Tiny piece of bacon against big piece of bacon. Go! Um, bite the big piece of bacon. Yeah, sure, sure, I understand, Kabu. I understand that maybe I should have given Toffee a potion at some point. But I, I just really didn't want to. Oh, look! The tiny piece of bacon did bite the big piece of bacon. This battle's gonna end in a way we're not expecting, folks. It's gonna end with two bacon bits against each other. Which bacon is stronger? I bet it's going to be Aku. He's got... You, you can feel the, the, the sheer rage inside of him. And also, Kabu's not pulling very good moves now that I've pulled out Mion. Wait, wait what is this Pokemon's actual name? Eh, it doesn't matter. The battle's over. Well, that went differently than I thought. I thought Toffee was just going to mop the floor. But we still ended in victory. Yes, we did it, tiny piece of bacon. As the rain comes down and soaks his jersey. Oh, and Shigo's evolving. Sweet. I don't really need you anymore, Shigo, but, you know, it's still welcome. Yeah. Excellent. Looking good. Anyone else going to evolve? No, that's it. Anyone? Come on. She wants, oh, she wants to learn a new move. Okay. Um, what does, let's get rid of Headbutt. I don't like Headbutt because it also sends damage to your own Pokemon. Is anyone else going to evolve? Everyone was pretty close to getting evolved. Yes, more? No, just Shigo. Okay. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Yep. Uh, apparently I have much to learn, too. I'm switching Toffee out. 
That's right. The next episode will be us trying to discover a new strong leader to fight alongside me in the Pokemon team. Who shall it be? We shall find out next time. I'll, I'll let him finish his talking about culture and Pokemon and partnerships. Yes, yes, yes. All, all the typical Pokemon philosophies. Oh, and there's Hop. Lucy! I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Driz... Oh, that's the name of me bacon Pokemon. That match had me at the edge of my seat. Great. Who's this guy? Challenger Lucy, I've seen you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges. Uh-huh, please take this TM. Oh, okay. Yes, thank you. Um, I, I don't really need that. You, you see Maleficent? She already learned it? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, and the fire uniform. Great. Actually, I might change into that. It depends. Might do a little bit of shopping in between episodes. We'll see. With all the badges you've earned ourselves, we'll be all right even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. We're going to another wild area? Perfect! That is perfect because I want to find someone strong to replace Toffee on the team. So that'll be next time. If you like this, make sure to put a pause up and press that like button. And don't forget to comment and subscribe as well. And I will see all ye scallywags later.